Hello, welcome to my channel. This video is part of the session on muscular disorders. If you missed the introduction, you can find it at the link that will appear on top. This time we will speak about immune-mediated myopathies that are diseases in which there is infiltration of muscles with inflammatory cells. Streptococcus echi echi, the responsible of strangle, is one of the principal causes of this type of myopathy. Other causes include viral respiratory diseases and salmonella. Quarter horses and similar breeds are more predisposed to develop this myopathy. There are three principal types of immune-mediated myopathies, acute rhabdomyolysis, infarctive purpura hemorrhagica and immune-mediated myositis. Acute rhabdomyolysis is associated with acute infection with Streptococcus echi echi that releases a lot of toxins and or causes an excessive release of cytokines with consequent damage of muscle fibers. Clinical signs are those typical of strangle, so respiratory signs, and rhabdomyolysis. For the diagnosis of strangles, we will find leukocytosis, neutrophilia, and hyperfibrinogenemia. PCR and culture of nasopharyngeal secretions may be positive for Streptococcus echi. Antibodies for M protein will not be high in this case due to the acute nature of the disease. For the diagnosis of rhabdomyolysis, we will find an increase of muscular enzymes but muscle biopsy is not useful. Purpura hemorrhagica is an immune-mediate vasculitis. You can find the mechanism in the video on types of hypersensitivity reactions. In this case, the vessel affected are also those of skeletal muscles. Tuse horses develop edema of limbs, petechie on the gums, lameness and stiffness with swelling on muscle masses. With this type of myopathy, there is an increase of CK and AST and of the antibodies against Streptococcus echi M protein. Muscular biopsies will show leukocytoclastic vasculitis and acute coagulative necrosis. Immune-mediated myositis is characterized by the rapid development of muscular atrophy, of especially the epaxial and the gluteal muscles. Muscle fibers are destroyed by reactions mediated by CD4 and CD8 lymphocytes. Loss of the self-tolerance mechanism is due to molecular mimicry, where epitopes of an infectious agent are highly similar to self-peptides, release of superantigens by the Streptococcus echi or high concentration of cytokines, which all contribute to the proteolysis and muscle catabolism. In this case, horses show acute muscle atrophy with weakness and prolonged recumbency. In acute phases, muscle enzymes may be high, but during more chronic stages, they are within normal ranges. Muscular biopsies show lymphocyte infiltrates, vasculitis, atrophy and necrosy of muscular fibers, and multinucleated giant cells. The treatment of immune-mediated myopathies is based on the use of corticosteroids or other immunosuppressive drugs. But if there is a concomitant infection with Streptococcus echi, also, an adequate antimicrobial treatment should be instituted. Mortality is high, but an early and aggressive treatment may be effective. Ok, that's all. If you liked the video, press like and subscribe to watch more videos. See you next time. Bye!